Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. First of all, I'm sorry guys that the previous two days I was sort of busy so couldn't upload the video but from now on I'll make sure to you know continuously upload the video. Right, so I hope that even though I didn't upload it, you guys must be solving some other important problems. That's what I'm expecting from you. Well, today's problem is minimum window substring, a very important problem um, from the sliding window approach topic, right? So definitely we'll be solving this problem in this video. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says given two strings S and T of length of length M and N respectively. Return the maximum, return the minimum window substring of S such that every character in T, including duplicates, listen it, including duplicates is included in the window. If there is no such substring, return the empty string. The test cases will be generated such that the answer is unique. So we have two strings S and T of length M and N. We have to return the minimum window substring of S such that whatever the character is that in T, even you have to include duplicate, should be included in the window. And if there is no such substring that does exist, you have to return an empty string. Right? And they have clearly specified the test cases will be generated such that the answer is unique. So, first example is here where the string contains of A, D, O, B, E, C, O, D, E, B, A, N, C, and T is A, B, C. Right? So the output for that we are getting is B, A, N, C. Because you will see, even though we are having certain other possible substrings as well, where we do have A, B, C, for example, if you will see this substring, this substring, right? So this is also having A, B, C. But if you will talk about the length of this substring, so this is 6. Whereas the output, uh, in the output we are having this substring, so here the length is 4. So which is the minimum one? Obviously the 4. The, the substring having the length 4, that is the minimum one, right? So that's why we are getting B, A, N, C as the output, right? Similarly, if you will see example 2, so S equal to A, we are having T equal to A, we are having. So here the entire string S is the minimum window. So that's what would be returned. And here if you will see, see S is having just one character and T is having two characters. So obviously T is, the length of T is greater than that itself of S. So obviously there is no such... Uh, substring possible in that scenario so we have to return empty string because both a's from t must be included in the window and since the largest window of s only has one a the only possible largest has only one a so we have to return empty string right right so 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 that's what it is now 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 comes the question that how we be solving solving this particular problem First approach, or the I must say the brute force approach that you can think of is that what we can do is generate all the possible substrings and just check that if the given um, t, the given t, I mean the characters in that are the part of t, if they are part of that substring which has been formed or not. And obviously we need the minimum substring, so we'll you know we'll keep a track of that as well, the length and everything. So right so this is the most basic or the brute force approach that you can think of to solve this particular problem but again not a not a good approach right because here you are generating all the possible substrings and then again you are checking that if you know the substring that has been generated if you know um it does have t in itself or not right so uh, obviously the interviewer will be expecting some sort of optimization from your end to solve this particular problem so let's have a proper understanding of the optimized approach now. Okay, so first thing is that uh, we should be sure, okay, uh, we should have that thing, know that whatever characters we do have in T, what is the frequency associated with them, so that we will be, we have to be sure that, okay, this is what exact the frequency of characters is needed in a, you know, you know, uh, in a window, right? So what, for that, what we'll be doing is that we'll be taking a hash map. So first in that hash map, we'll be putting a, A, uh, the frequency is 1, B, the frequency is 1, and then C, again, the frequency is 1. Now, the thing is that we have to, you know, in, in a substring means we can call it as a window. So, in a window, we need this A, B, C, right? This A, B, C characters we do need. So, we'll go with the two pointer, like we'll maintain two pointer I and J, where I will be generally responsible for shrinking the window. Like, it will check for the possibility if further we can shrink our window or we have to move ahead or how it is like, like and j is for moving ahead and to you know to get to 
make a validated window now what exactly i do mean by validated window the window which contains all the characters that we do have in t including the duplicates on as well so initially i and j both are going to be zero right so j started from here so first of all how you will get to know how you will get to know that okay this is a required character so the character which is having a positive value a positive value because we have already mapped the value in in the hash map associated with the the characters which we do have in t right so the character which is having positive value greater than zero value you can say that okay this is the required character right and once you have like whatever value whatever character we are you know we are having a look on what we can do is just to check okay i have seen it i have seen it so for here we will do a subtract of 1 so we will do minus 1 so here uh, this a we do have right so a i have seen it so reduce its frequency so that would be zero if it is zero means it was a part of it was positive and obviously it was a part of a of a of a t because if any other character will come and uh, it does not occur before so we will take the default frequency as zero and zero minus 1 will give us something negative right minus 1 right so that's how it is but if here it is 1 1 minus 1 will give you zero it means what that this is a required character so and just to just to be sure that we have got all the required characters we will have a counter and we will initially initialize with it this with the size of the map so as of now the size of the map is 3 3 3 key value pairs we do have now as if we have seen 1a 1a one required character so we will reduce its value to 2 then we will see d so d is not a you know a positive one so it will be having minus 1 default frequency 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 will be having then o so for with o also we will be having minus 1 then b so b is a b sorry b is already there b b b is the required one so the frequency here is 1 so 1 minus 1 you will be getting 0 and the counter will be reduced to 1 then we have e so e is not here and obviously not the required one so it will be having minus 1 then see see the required one it will be reduced to 0 and the counter will be reduced to 0 so once the counter has reduced to 0 we can conclude that okay we have found the window which contains all the characters of t right right so now comes the part that we have to you know check the length of that particular substring that has been formed so what is the length of it and at this time we have to return the substring so we have to keep a track of the initial point from where our substring has started so initial point is what i so we will start point as i and what is the length so you can take a a variable let's call it as ms minimum size and initialize with integer dot max value and you can just simply check so whatever the window we have got how how you will how you will determine the window so right now j is on this c right j is on c okay so and i is on 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 so so window length is going to be window length is going to be j minus i 5 minus 0 plus 1 that is 6 so 6 characters it does have so obviously 6 is greater than that of integer dot max value so till now the minimum window size that we have seen is 6 now we will check a possibility that if there is a chance to further shrink our window right further shrink our window there is a chance we can further reduce and uh, we can have all our characters that does exist in t so it's important that counter should be zero otherwise it won't be a validated window right so that's the case so we will uh, increment the value of i so i would be 1 now so if you have incremented the value of i means you are removing the contribution of this a you are removing the contribution of this a from the map if you are removing it means whatever value that you have reduced before or whatever value that is associated with the character on which i was before just do a plus 1 on it plus 1 on it so once you have done the plus 1 you will simply check okay again there is a character whose value is this this character uh, that is on i its value has been become greater than that of 0 means it is a required character so required character so c value will be updated to 1 and now if c value been updated to 1 means this window is not validated so we have to further uh, you know we have to look for this a so that it could be a validated window so i will remain here only at 1 and we will increment the value of j so j was before at 5 now it would be on o then o o we have o we have uh, already seen so that would be minus 2 then d 
d again minus 2 then e e again minus 2 then b b b here it would be minus 1 right b would be minus 1 then a so a is a a was what 1 so it would be decremented to 0 so it would be it would be what it would be 0 so now again our window has been validated right counter will be reduced to 0 because see now you must be thinking here b is minus 1 but in this window we are already having 2b and we just need 1b okay so that is a valid window formed now if here you will check the length here you will check the length so 0 1 2 see here the length was what here let's see it was 5 6 7 8 9 10 so or let me 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we, we stopped here right so 10 minus 1 plus 1 so 10 is the length 10 is the length that is uh, that is formed of this window so which is obviously greater so we are not going to update so that the previous value will remain as it is the starting point will be remain uh, as 0 only and of, of course the minimum window size will remain as 6 only right now again the same thing when the counter has been 0 so we will again check if there is a chance to further reduce the window so we will check so i value will be incremented right so this whatever the value with d so just do a plus 1 in it so we will get minus 1 then with o whatever the value so just do plus 1 we will get minus 1 then b again we did a so b also we plus 1 so it became 0 right no problem right because it's still it's still in this window if you will see that we are already having a b then e so e we did a plus 1 so it will be minus 1 then c c c we did a plus 1 right c we did a plus 1 so now it's no longer a valid window because there is this character on this i so that value has become greater than 0 it means what it means it is a required character and you cannot skip it so 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 now now what will happen i is in this on i is in uh, i is on this o i is on this o so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i is here now we have to uh, increment our j to make a first uh, first to make a valid window right so j will be moving to this n and is not there so n will be mapped minus 1 c so c we got now c we got c we got so it would be reduced to 0 and yes it is a valid window again it is a valid window again so now again if you will check the size so again if you will check the size so here it was 10 right 10 11 12 so this is 12 so 12 minus 6 plus 1 we will get 7 right we will get 7 what is the valid window being formed this is the c Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here we do have A, B, C, all the three, seven. But the previous one was better, so we are not going to do anything. But the counter is zero, so we will again check if any possibility to further shrink it. So I value will be incremented. So D, um, D is already there. D is already there. So plus one will happen, and it would be zero. E again a plus one, it would be zero. Then B, then B b is here right so b with b with b with b what we are going to do with b what we are going to do and see every time okay okay one thing i must know every time we are doing this no so we are keep on up we are updating also this minimum window size also we are we are updating every time see because see first what was the length like if for example if we, if we, i'm talking about this this thing, the length was one two three four five six seven right so if i remove this o now i'm not considering this o if i'm not considering o in this like because i have incremented the i right so now the length is what now the length the minimum window size will be updated minimum window size will be updated one two three four five six okay six is already there then on this e we came right so one two three four five so it became five now so it would be updated it would be updated and the starting point would be what the starting point will be will be updated with the value of i right from here itself then next time b will be i will be updated so it's still n is zero right it's still n is zero or the and i mean counter value is zero so this is this sub string if you will see b a n c b a n c just having four characters so minimum window size will be updated to four and the starting point will be updated to the the value of i which is pointing to b right and and next time i will be incremented so this b you have removed this b you have removed means it would be plus one now now what counter is no longer zero counter will be updated to one 
but now we cannot further explore j because we have reached the end of the string and so that's why the minimal substring that is containing all of the t and it from s what we have extracted is that is b a n c right b a n c like we have the initial point and we know the length of the minimum substrings um, length we know na four and the initial i point we have so we can fetch the substring out of s b a n c and that we are going to return right so i hope you were you were able to understand the logic part and do a dry run from your end as well so that you can get a better picture better understanding of the approach now just have a look on the coding part so here here as you can see uh, we are having a hash map mp right and the minimum size is integer dot max value start result uh, we do have that is initialized with zero so first of all in our map we are putting all those characters which is there in in the t we are mapping those values as we as we did now as we did now right and then we have these two pointers i and j and n is the counter here which is the size of the map so now we will continue in our loop till the time j value is less than that of the length of s now we are fetching the current character s dot caret j we are fetching the current character now in our map what we are putting is the, in our map we are putting the character which is there and we are reducing the frequency associated with it for example if a was there so with a we have frequency 1 so 1 minus 1 we got 0 right similarly if d is there so d is not a part of t right so if by default we have cap to 0 so 0 minus 1 minus 1 will be associated with d right so now here we are checking if the current character frequency or the value is if it is 0 means it was it was a it was it is a required character right and we have seen the required character in our window so what we're going to do is that we are going to reduce the counter that's what we discussed when we were discussing the approach right now now uh, so we'll keep on doing this and at the scenario and at the case when and became zero means we have got a valid window valid window what do i actually mean by this i already told you the window which contains all the characters of t right so once this is the case this i did just to check something right so here we are checking if min size so min size initially we have kept it as um integer dot fixed value so if it is greater than that of the value which is which is i mean this window length if it is greater than that of the window length so we are going to update the value of min size and we need the starting point of our substring right so uh, we are putting a start equal to i right so now 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 what we are trying to do now what we are trying to do so once we have got this we will try to shrink our window we will try to what we will try to shrink our window further if we can shrink it right so what we are doing is that now whatever is the character at i we are updating its frequency means we are not including like we are we are just removing it from window that's that's how you can understand so we are updating it because see initially we did did, did a minus one no because we have included this in window so now this time as if we are removing so we are doing a plus one right so now there could be a possibility that from the window you have removed the required character right so how you will make sure so you will check that is the current character uh, that you have just now removed and the or you can say the frequency the frequency not exactly remove will be the correct word whose frequency do you have just now updated with plus one and if on doing so the frequency has became greater than zero means it was a required character so if what is required character means n value will be updated and value would be plus plus right just to show that okay okay now you don't you have to do the previous calculation again and again you have to form a valid window first right and if that is not the case it means this condition will remain true we will be doing like we will further try to reduce the window we will do i plus plus and on the other hand in this outer loop this j will keep on continuing j plus plus and at the end what we are doing is that if min size remain as it is that is in these dot max value we are returning a empty string otherwise we are returning a sub string catching the sub string from s starting from start pointer start pointer plus min size right so yeah that's it that's it yeah, so that was the approach the code the logic for solving this particular problem i hope you were able to understand thank you so much for watching this video everyone bye bye